this is James from Squid Gaming bringing you another Portal 2 authoring tools tutorial. Today we will be covering panels. So first things first, make an entity and make it a prop dynamic and give that the name panel, I'll use panel 10 because I've already got a few and go to world model. Um, for this I'll put a list in the description of the models that you can use but for this I'll be using the arm 64x64 underscore interior dot mdl which is just a very basic arm with a platform on it. like that yes so now that you have this you want to also set its collisions to not solid because this certain these set of props do not have collisions anyway so you need to do it yourself and to do that we want to grab our brush tool and draw a brush sort of just inside the uh, panel part of the panel itself, the bit you would stand on. Generally you'll place these so the player cannot get to the arm and walk through it because then it would be a little bit weird. And give that the material type in invisible into the filter on the materials browser and use the tools forward slash tools invisible material this will mean you'll collide with it and it'll stop you in the game but it you won't be able to see it so it'll just look like the panel is stopping you next we want to create a oh wait firstly you need to make this press control T to make it an entity and make type in brush into the class make it a funk brush and give that the name panel underscore brush and parent that to your panel um, okay so now we need see, even though it's parented because the animation isn't sort of perfectly linear we need to create another entity to make it move with it so create an entity with the entity tool and type in auto and select the logic underscore auto click apply now go to the outputs click add and select on map spawn your brush on top of your panel then set parent attachment maintain offset and then type in panel underscore attach and select fire once only and click apply so that was on map spawn your brush on top of your panel set parent attachment maintain offset with the parameter override of panel underscore attach with fire once only clicked okay so now we have a thing we now need to make it animate to do this we need to make another entity um, and you want this one to be called 
logic underscore relay and click apply. Give that the name of your panel underscore relay underscore anim for animation and click apply and then in the outputs tab click add and we want on trigger your panel not the brush but the actual model of the panel then set animation and now you need to find the name of the animation which you want to use so just click apply for now leaving that as none and then exit out of this and go back to your panel model go to the world model and click browse again and then in that model go to the sequences tab and it'll have a series of animations in here so just as you select them it'll play them for you in the little window and then you can see what the name is maybe write it down or just try to remember it or yeah and then I'm going to use the uh, 64 out and 64 in straight for this certain model so go back to your outputs where you left it as none and type in the name of your animation and click apply and then you want to make a second one and have that on user 1 the same panel set animation again but this time you want to have the opposite animation in there so you're going to have the 64 in straight and click apply you can also put delays on these so you can make one button make multiple go up in a sort of a pattern which can look quite nice and also you can make it only fire once and not have the second return animation if you want now we just need something to tell our logic relay to send that data so I'm just going to use a floor button so just another entity tool button floor button panel button and in the outputs for your trigger just click add go on pressed or on triggered whatever you're using you should know how to use triggers by now pretty much you want the you want your panel relay uh, what did I call that now Yeah, you want your relay one that you've just been fiddling with and you want that to go trigger and then a second one with the on unpressed or your other trigger for reversing exactly the same thing And then you want to go on uh, fire user one. You can use fire user two, three, or four as well. So you can have like four stages of the animation. That works too. And now it should work. 
So let's go into, let's run our map and see what happens. Okay, so back in my map. Go into the room with panels in it. Got our faith plate there. When I step on this button, it should. Here we go. Go up, and when I step off, should go back down. Gotta love the creepy floating panels that seem to be attached to nothing. Now, before I made this, I was fiddling around learning how to learn this, and I made this. This um, uses the delay thing, as I was talking about before, to make it sort of a pattern. So, yeah. That's using exactly the same uh, panel model, but with the 32 instead of the 64 in and out animation. So yeah, I hope you learnt something guys. You should be able to apply this fairly easily to all of the other models which are in the description. And See you next time. This is James from Squid Gaming.